channel and welcome to a new vlog i am back from rome last week i had an amazing time um jetting away to one of the most beautiful historic cities in europe um with some really close girlfriends so that was a really great time but hopefully by the time you're seeing this the rome travel diary will have already gone up it was a lot of content and actually today is tuesday i got back on saturday evening and um, I still have to send a lot of the footage over to my team member who helps me with um, video editing. Um, I could not do <laughs> YouTube without help, especially at this stage in my life. Maybe back in the day, um, but definitely not in this stage. So um, hopefully by the time you're seeing this, um, it's already gone up. Um, and if it has and you've missed it, I'll link it up here. For you but like I said it's Tuesday the 15th of February yesterday was Valentine's Day um, John cooked me a lovely meal last night we celebrated at home our first Valentine's Day as parents um, I got Louis like a little just a little memento of his first Valentine's Day it's a little um, mini porcelain bear um, because he loves his baby bear so much he always has it with him and he's our little baby bear so really cheesy but um, but yeah overall had a really great Valentine's Day hope you guys did as well so I thought this week I do it more of a weekly vlog um, little snippets of each day um, I have so much on uh, my to-do list that pertains to being on my computer so I'm gonna just do little snippets here and there each day um, today is a really exciting day you can hear fish and chips downstairs probably because they're here but basically we ordered a new bed back in November and we've been waiting months for it to arrive and they are here now to deliver it so I wanted to share um, where it's gonna go actually this is my office space and you guys have kind of seen me in this room quite a bit but it's actually gonna be turned into our bedroom so let me show you where the bed is gonna go so the bed is gonna go here, this is the main bedroom in our house, and because it has the most um, potential for storage space, John was like, just use this for your bedroom, for your workroom, but yeah, I just feel like it's gonna be so much better as a bedroom for us, so much more space, so the bed is gonna go here. Okay, the boys are going crazy, let me go let these guys in. just left I used the time um, that they spent putting the bed together um, to do my hair quickly wanted to share before I share the bed um, this hair product that I rediscovered while I was in Rome um, so I usually use as a like for a dry texturizing spray Orbe's dry texturizing spray it's one of my favorite hair care products but 
lately I've actually not been loving it. I feel like it doesn't really give my hair the grit that I feel like it used to. I don't know if my hair has changed. I don't know if it's the climate here or what, but I don't really feel like it gives it that really good grit and like messy um, lived in look that I feel like it used to. Um, and so anyways, when I was packing for Rome, um, I realized I didn't have a travel size of the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, but I did have a travel size of this Kenra Volume Spray. And it basically does the same thing um, as Oribe used to do to my hair. It gives it so much grit and like hold. And I just really, really like it. I tried to see if I could find where it's um, stocked in the UK and I didn't have a lot of luck. So I'm pretty sure I got this in the States. So I'll link it where I can find it down below for you, but I am obsessed with this stuff. Okay, let me show you the bed. So this is the bed. Honestly, I feel like it's a little underwhelming. It's nothing too crazy, too over the top, or I don't know, um, maybe like nothing too overly impressive. Um, I feel like this is a style of headboard that um, has had its moment, but I still really, really like it, and I feel like it really suits um, the style that we're potentially going for for our bedroom. I might see if I can find some more interesting... Um, knobs for these drawers but overall I feel like they do kind of all match the the fireplace turn you guys around so I can talk to you face to face but yeah we bought this bed because um, ultimately the bed that we've been using since I moved over was John's bed prior to me um, to us even meeting um, and it was too wide for the bedroom options that we had in this house um, we were originally going to use the the smaller bedroom for our bedroom because we're not in our room that much to be honest so John was like just use this as your workspace and the closet is massive and affords me the ability to use it all for storage and we are able to put in some wardrobes into that other bedroom um, for John's storage because he doesn't need as much as I do and just with the nature of my work okay don't judge <laughs> so anyway we we decided to get a new bed to fit that bedroom um, but at the end of the day when it came to measuring out the beds sadly um, every single bed especially storage beds that are a little bit longer they just came right up against where the chest of drawers is um, and it would make it difficult to even use the drawers and also I just kind of feel like this room has a much more like bedroom type feel it just feels more like a bedroom um, so I'll still use this for work but I am really excited to have have um, our main bedroom be this bedroom um, overall we had to get a a full-size bed which we are really excited for our future to not only buy a house but to have a king size bed uh, because it is quite small for two people but overall um, this is a really nice bed one that um, I think will serve us well during our time here in Windsor <laughs> bed made at least mostly some of our sheets are in the wash because Louie ended up in our bed early early this morning and he still has a runny nose um so anyway washing some of our sheets but hopefully the next time you see our bedroom and I show it to you it'll look a little bit more put together I want to find um, a mirror for here I'm thinking that anthropology primrose mirror I've always wanted it but it just didn't really fit anywhere in my home in Florida and then I wasn't going to buy it over the last two years because I didn't know where we were going to be for a while. So I think I might get that one for there. And then I want to get some wall art for here. And I need to find some new Euro pillow inserts because those are aggressively bigger than they need to be. Um, I've had such a nightmare trying to find the exact pillow size that I need for an insert for a 65 by 65 centimeter Euro sham. But anyways... I'm excited now because now that we have the bed, I can order my desk. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this one from Ikea. I think that one will provide me with a lot of storage um, for not only office supplies, um, but also just documents. I'm such an, or like I have to have like a filing cabinet um, just so I know where things are and like important documents go there and all of that. So, um, so yeah, I like a desk with storage. Um, so I'm gonna order that today, I think. Hopefully 
it's not sold out. <laughs> I haven't looked in a while. Um, and yeah, I mean, it would be amazing to get it all like delivered and put together before we leave for Florida, but that I think is very much wishful thinking. Okay, well, let me show you my outfit of the day and then I think I'm gonna leave you for a little while so I can get some computer work done. So I am wearing this um, blue and white striped t-shirt. Just really, really comfy and easy um, throw on. I feel like these types of shirts are always a classic in anyone's wardrobe, um, but right now I feel like I'm seeing them quite a bit. Um, they're definitely having a moment. Um, so this one is oversized. Would be really cute with leggings or skinny jeans. Maybe you would wear them with mom jeans. I feel like I'm struggling with jeans right now because I just feel like what is on trend is so not what I feel comfortable in. I'm finding that a lot with what I'm seeing out there right now. I'm like, this is so not my style and I just don't know if I can subscribe to this. But yeah, I'm just um, wearing some sweatpants today and um, slippers, but this is a new buy. So I will leave it linked down below. And then I've also uploaded this new spring buys um, roundup that I've recently put together of some things that I've seen and things that I love um, as we approach spring. So I'll leave that link down below for you as well if you're interested in shopping. Hello, hello. It is now the next day. Um, I'm just getting into Paddington Station. I'm in London today for a fun planning meeting uh, for the Spring Atlas Adventures trip. If you're not sure what that is, um, basically it's a, um, a trip that my best friend Whitney organizes for groups of women from their 20s, 30s, 40s, even 50s um, to travel and experience the world. Um, it's a really great way to see different destinations that you maybe want to see, but also make new friends and travel buddies. So anyway, we are off to the Berkeley today to meet one of our partners for something really exciting that we're planning for this spring trip. So let's head that way. I'm running a little late this morning. So cute. <laughs> a green juice and the cutest oat latte, the Bockley. a really nice morning in London had our um, meeting at the Barclay it was really really good very productive um, really excited about what we're planning and then I brought this outfit um, to shoot with Victoria afterwards so we did that just down the street um, from the Barclay in um, Belgravia that was really really nice um, feels nice to shoot spring content it was not like the best weather but thankfully with how Victoria edits photos. It looks just light and bright and you can't really tell um, that it's not nice out. But um, yeah, I'm excited for the spring content that I'm planning for the blog. Um, we loved sleeping in here last night. The bed isn't fully made, but I wanted to quickly highlight our sheets. More so this duvet cover. I bought it on sale after the holidays um, or maybe right before the holidays and it is the most gorgeous material it has like flannel and cotton in it and it's just it's amazing for this time of year and i was like going through emails and i was about to delete this white company one that came through and i was like let me just see like what um our bedding is now in terms of price it's like 60 percent off so i know that we're kind of going into spring and you're looking for more light materials for your bedding but if you i don't know want to go ahead and buy for next year this is a really really great set to snag from white company and white company is pretty premium in terms of price so getting 60 percent off of um, a duvet and some pillow shams would be a really really good deal so i'll leave that link down below 
All right, so this is the dress I shot with Victoria today. I wish I had thought about it. Her and I just get like to chatting and I totally forget to do any anything else that I like potentially wanted to do, but I think um, it could be really fun for you guys to see like behind the scenes of us shooting for the blog. Um, so I'll try to remember to do that next time I'm with B. I do believe that there are some clips in the Rome travel diary that are like that, so I don't know if that would be interesting or fun, but I totally didn't even think about grabbing my camera, but anyway, this dress is a really, really great affordable spring dress um, that just came out actually, so all sizes are available. I'll link it down below, and one thing that I love is, well, two things that I love. I mean, I love so many things about it. I love the color combination. I love this like really light turquoise color, just really, really beautiful pastel, and I love the puff sleeves. I feel like with puff sleeves, sometimes they're just too aggressive, and they just don't flatter like my frame. I feel like I'm I'm kind of short and I'm just a small person. So having like massive puff sleeves are just too overwhelming for me. Um, but these are much shorter and they're not as in your face. So for me, these are great. And then um, I really like the tiered midi length um, length here. So I will leave this link down below. But now that I'm home, there's absolutely no reason for me to be wearing this. Um, does this have pockets? Yes. Oh, amazing. I didn't realize that. Um, always an added bonus when pockets and dresses are involved. Um, okay, somebody's at the door, so I've got to run. But I'm going to get into some comfy clothes and get back to my long list of computer admin stuff. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. <gasps> do, 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 do. Hi, honey bun. Hi, honey. I always love coming home to you, honey. Oh, look at this big boy. Are you standing? Ooh. You sweet boy. Sweetest boy in the world. today snoozing on the job looks like just one but I can assure you there is two every sausage mom knows they are quite the burrowing breed <laughs> it's quite warm in here to be honest but Chips insists on being under this blanket loves to be a little hot dog are you guys going to help me today? No? Okay. I thought I would share um, this and other stories order that just came in yesterday. Um, there are a few pieces in here that are going to be amazing for um, the spring and summer months and I cannot wait for warmer weather. So I thought I would just quickly run through the order. I'll show them to you here and talk through them, but then I'll also put try-on clips over the top so you can see what they look like on. All right, first up is more of a um, fall and winter piece, um, but it's something that I've been needing in my wardrobe because I don't have one. Um, but it's essentially a like ribbed white turtleneck um, that I just think is a really great essential for um, that time of year, even in early spring. Um, I've been seeing these styled with um, like a really nice, like graphic oversized sweatshirt um, and I've been loving this one I recently snagged from H&M so um, I wanted to see what that looked like together obviously you can wear it in less of a sporty way um, and more of a classic um, style with like a nice cardigan over it or um, a nice chunky knit um, turtleneck on top just for an added layer of warmth underneath um, that nice chunky knit so um, lots of ways to style this piece all right next up we have this really beautiful um, high neck it's almost like a halter neck but without any sort of tie in the background camel colored um, tank I absolutely love this um, one it's really comfortable and great for these um, spring months when it's still a little chilly not that it has sleeves to keep you warm or anything but the sweater material um, will add a bit of warmth um, and then I personally think it's nice styled with a pair of white or light colored culottes like I have here and a nice pair of wedges or heels this is definitely a keeper 
All right, next up is this gorgeous floral smock top with lots of feminine and ruffle detailing. I love all the smocking and the ruffles here on the sleeves. Um, there's some cinching here on the shoulder area and I love the square um, neckline. However, I will say that this area across the chest was a bit baggy on me and so I just didn't really find it very flattering. I tried it on with a few different um, light colored bottoms and overall like I think what you see on the screen here is what I ended up liking um, the most but overall I just don't feel like it's going to get a ton of wear based on how it feels and it made me feel. I didn't feel as pretty as I think I hoped I would. <laughs> this next item though I absolutely love. I don't typically wear a lot of brown in the spring and summer months but there was just something about this print that I really really liked. It's a um, like a brown and light white and beige um, floral pattern. I love the button detailing down the middle and then how it kind of splits off at the bottom with a really pretty ruffle hem right at um, your hip line um, or probably just above your hips. Um, it's very very girly and feminine and I think it's really really cute with a pair of um, nice white canvas shorts or um, high-waisted white denim so love 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 this one. It's definitely a keeper for me. Alright next up is actually another floral piece. <laughs> I don't feel like I tend to go overboard with floral purchases, but um, there's a first time for everything here, and bear with me if this is not your style. Um, but I just really loved this top. I felt like the way it is structured is super um, chic and sophisticated. It's really light and airy. It's a silk blend material um, that it's made out of, and it feels really, really nice and light on your skin, so um, it'd be perfect for um, mornings and evenings during the spring and even into the summer months, depending on where you spend the summers, you know, to pair with a nice pair of dark denim skinny jeans with some loafers or um, a really nice pair of white structured shorts and some wedges. So yeah, it's definitely a top that I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of. All right, and last but not least is this gorgeous um, top that I think is beautiful for a date night or a special occasion. It is a cropped top with some beautiful ruffle um, voluminous sleeves. Um, I will say it was quite hard to get this on. Um, maybe I did not get um, the correct size, but um, I went with my normal size. And yeah, I think, I mean, I have a strapless bra on in these clips. And I think with the bra, you definitely have to kind of like, like shimmy the bra up and then zip it down. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of extra give, I will say, even though the back is stretchy. Um, but once I got it up and on, I really, really liked it. it I felt like it was really, really flattering. Um, and I think this would be really, really pretty with a nice high-waisted pleated maxi skirt and a pair of heels or wedges. I feel like there are a lot of style options with this top. I'm a little torn as to whether or not to keep it just because it was such a headache to get on. However, I do feel like my wardrobe does need a top like this for um, evenings in the spring and summer um, and even on to into the fall where you're really wanting to have a nice put together elevated and sophisticated look and I feel like this top definitely has that overall vibe um, so let me know in the comments below if you think I should keep it or not all right and so that is my and other stories order um, let me know if you liked how I did that if that was uh, I know this is a blog so a little bit different um, um, than how I've done it before um, but yeah I need to um, get ready for this call and I also need to see if I can quickly film this what's new in my wardrobe video before I completely lose light. Wish me luck because, um, yeah, it's, it's not looking great, but uh, I'm gonna go for it anyway. <laughs> Saturday, so I skipped vlogging yesterday because it was just a very strange day and I'll share about that in a minute But um, yeah, so John's mom just sent me a beautiful bottle of Moe Or Moet you can tell me how to say it in the comments below um, But yeah, I'm so excited about that a lovely bottle of champagne because my birthday is um, This coming Friday of this coming week 
I uh, will be celebrating in Florida, so I'm really excited. So um, I don't know if we'll be popping this tonight <laughs> or when we get back, but it's so sweet nonetheless. Um, but yeah, I didn't pick up the vlogging camera yesterday because um, it was kind of a crazy day. I shared on Thursday that there was a storm coming um, and I didn't, it basically it was kind of just a windstorm. I'm sure it rained in some areas, but um, it was supposed to be like 120 mile per hour winds, maybe more than that. And maybe I'm forget not remembering it correctly, but really intense winds and um, it was really bad in some areas of the country and we were in a red zone so I kind of expected it to be really bad here but it wasn't <laughs> and I grew up in Florida with hurricanes and yeah so I looked outside and I was like I have a hair appointment at nine o'clock um, that doesn't look that bad I'm going <laughs> and uh, Louis nursery was closed because they just didn't know how bad it was gonna be here and they obviously wanted to look out for everybody's safety um, so I took him with me and it was fine and yeah I got my extensions put in I'm pretty sure I told you guys that I was getting extensions put in again I I just feel the most myself with really long hair and yeah so I really like the way they turned out they're really really um, good quality hair and um, they're beaded but individual beads versus like on a track this which is how I've had them done before and Carrie who did my hair was so great with Louie she was like it's totally fine she's so good with kids and um, Louie was just loving her like giving her the cutest little smiles and yeah so and then I also got my nails done <laughs> um, for holiday because one of them was like coming off off and I had only just gotten them done like a week ago so they took care of me at the place that I normally um, get them done at um, got this very standard Haley light pink color um, and yeah I'm really excited about our holiday um, today John is out on a couple of appointments Louis is napping um, I have just been trying on some dresses because that is basically what I'm going to be living in when I'm in Florida. So I thought I would share a few of the ones that came in this week um, just very quickly and then I'll probably end the vlog there because I've got lots to do and I just don't know if I'm going to be able to um, balance getting it all done and filming um, but I'll definitely pick up the vlogging camera when we're in the Bahamas. Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see what we do in Florida because I think I'm going to take some time to just really be present with my dad and my friends for that first week that we are away. But yeah, let's go upstairs and I'll show you some dresses. All right, this angel is still sleeping. He woke up at eight today, so I only have about 30 more minutes or so before he either wakes up or I need to go wake him up. All right, I'm gonna save the ones that I shared on the rack for my trip. But this is a really easy um, and affordable one. I still have my sweatpants on underneath this, full disclosure. But um, this is a really easy one from Amazon, really affordable. Um, I just love that it's just throw it on when it's really hot and you will be so good. <laughs> you don't have to wear a bra if you don't want to because it's a bit baggy, but I always feel a little bit more comfortable with a strapless bra. And it's tiered and a maxi length um, with some easy sandals and you are good to go. So I'll leave this link down below. All right, this is the next one. I really love, um, it's a, I feel like it's supposed to be like this. At least I'm telling myself it's supposed to be like that. Um, but yeah, I really like the little ruffle detail around this like halter um, neckline and then the tiered detailing. You'll see with some of these that I have a very distinct um, vibe with some dresses, especially when it's hot. I just want to be easy breezy and comfortable and I feel like the looser the better so anyway this is another um, really affordable find I also got it in pink but I'm still deciding whether or not to keep it I mean to be fair I should probably return the white one because I need another white dress like I need a hole in my head but you know there's just something about white dresses that makes me weak so I think I'll probably keep the white one all right next is this really pretty blue and white floral option um, also very affordable I love the smocking here at the top some little ruffles around the waist, and then a more loose fitting, um, I think mm, midi to maxi length with a ruffle trim at the bottom, and then these tie um, ties here on the shoulders, adding another little feminine detail. So overall, this is like the perfect dress in my opinion. I'll be wearing this a ton, um, not only on vacation, but in the spring as well. It's also very affordably priced. So yeah, it's linked down below. Okay, I am obsessed with this one. It's by one of my favorite brands for um, like beach and islandy getaways. Um, they have more of a boho vibe and I really love that 
kind of style. I love to tap into that side of my style because I do feel like I love that and I do like to kind of embrace that, but only in certain um, environments because I just don't know that that's something that I would wear on my every day, but definitely something I would embrace during the holiday. So this one is by Spell and the Gypsy. I love the pattern. I love the overall silhouette. I love the length. I have so many midi and maxi dresses and I love them because I do feel like they are very much my style and I'll get a lot of use out of them, but this one is really nice um, because it's just a bit different in terms of length than most of my other dresses. It'd be great with um, sandals and wedges so you could dress it up or down. Um, and I love the sleeves. Everything is super lightweight and flowy um, and overall just mm, just feeling it I'm just feeling it so yeah I love this one all right I was gonna show you another spell in the gypsy piece because I am so obsessed with the other one as well but I think I'm gonna save that one for our trip so I pulled this beautiful Juliet Dunn piece I love this scallop hem here and then the rickrack detail here along the front it's got side pockets with um, the same detailing here as well with the scallops. And then we've got these little bow ties here, which I absolutely love. It's like one of my favorite things to see on a dress. Such a beautiful and girly detail. Um, and then it's made of this beautiful, soft cotton material. It's, um, yeah, it's a different material than the other dresses. The other dresses, they're super affordable but probably not like gonna stand the test of time. And I do love to invest in dresses that I know will be in my wardrobe for a really long time. They are classic and timeless and I definitely think this fits that bill. So the price point on this one is um, much higher than the other ones, but um, it's a dress that I, I want to have in my collection to hopefully pass down to maybe a daughter one day, maybe a daughter-in-law or a granddaughter, I don't know. But yeah, I love collecting dresses like this that I just will always, always keep and have in my collection. So but I think that is it on the dresses that I wanted to share. I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek at to what you'll be seeing me wear in Florida and the Bahamas. Um, as I think I said earlier, just make sure you're following me on Instagram because I think I'll be sharing a lot more on there versus in a vlog for YouTube. Um, I think until we get to the Bahamas, I do kind of want to do a fun little Bahamas vlog. That would be really fun. Um, but yeah, I'll be posting all my um, outfits and everything on Instagram and in the Like to Know It app. So I'll link those down in the description box if you don't follow me there already. Um, but yeah, I need to go check on Lou Baby because um, I need to kind of keep him on um, his schedule. We woke up at eight today, um, a little bit later than we normally do, and I was all about it <laughs> on a Saturday. Um, and I was also really excited that he slept until eight because um, we're gonna be traveling, you know, back like hours wise. And so the later that he sleeps here, um, the easier I think it'll be a, for him to adjust when we get to the states. So I'll turn you guys around. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna go wake him up and. Um, probably get started on packing uh, because we've got a lot to do. We're dropping the boys off at the dog sitters in the morning. Um, we This is the first time that we've left them for this long and with somebody that isn't family. Um, so yeah, we're testing out dog sitters because John's mom is really far away um, and so it would just be hard for her um, to watch them as much as she does love, love them. Um, so yeah, hope that goes well. She's really, really, really sweet. I, I get a good feel from her. So um, yeah, and then we leave on Monday morning. So I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're doing well. Um, if you have made it to the end, please do in the comments below, let me know a little bit about you, where you're from, and if you have any fun travels coming up this year, I would love to hear where you're going um, and what you would love to see from me here on YouTube. I think I'm gonna start doing more focused um, videos on um, different style and travel topics. So if you have any ideas, any videos that you like to watch here on YouTube and that you would like for me to do, leave the ideas down below. I would love to read those. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button along with the little notification bell so you know when new videos um, come up on my channel. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. You guys take care. Bye.